Hi, Dilbert. I'd die laughing at that guy. He said it. He killed me. Say, who is this Dilbert, anyway? Who's Dilbert? Who's your hootie? He means he's not so much a name as he is a state of mind. That's right. You know, essential routines, safety precautions. Don't mean a thing to Dilbert. I wonder if there really is a guy like that, and what he looks like in real life. Sure, there's got to be somebody that looks like that. <laughs> That's a laugh. Look like somebody. I can look like anybody. I got a million disguises. I'm a Dilbert. Don't look anything like my portrait, do I? That's how I get away with so much. Nobody can recognize me until it's too late. <laughs> when are you Dilberts going to get wise to yourselves? What do you mean? We're good for a lot of laughs, ain't we? We panic them. We're a very funny character. Sure, when you're on a poster. But in the air, you're just about as funny as a blast from a Jap Zero. One of these days, they're going to catch up with you, wise guy. Oh, yeah? They gotta find me first. And nobody has any ideas where to start looking. Well, just like that. I'm a pilot in Alaska. And just like this, I'm a pilot at Guadalcanal. And just like that, I'm a pilot going on patrol. But when I want to cause a lot of trouble, I monkey with guns. All right, all right. But for the time being, let us get on with our safety precautions in fixed gunnery, will you? Safety precautions in fixed gunnery? Oh, boy, that's my meat. Ah, ah, let me go. It's a sabotage. Before any pilot is released for fixed gunnery training, he must become familiar with his equipment, know how to handle it safely, both in the air and on the ground. Check on how many guns are loaded and the amount of ammunition in each container and the number of charges required to load a live round. From the moment you accept a plane for flight until the plane is returned to the care of the ordnanceman, you are held responsible. So don't take anything for granted. All aircraft for gunnery training and fleet operations should have a firing checkoff list placed in full view of the pilot, a constant reminder of the steps that must be taken before starting to shoot. We must know that the range is considered foul if there is the slightest chance of bullets shooting into populated areas, and that guns should never be charged while flying over areas like this. Hmm. What do you say about that again? Wonder what'll happen if I do charge him. That's what can happen, addle brain. Even a dummy cartridge can cause a tragedy. When the target is headed down the range at the prescribed altitude and you've decided that you're about ready to make your run, go over your checkoff list, item by item. Generator checked. Mixture set automatic rich. Guns charged. Sight on. Master switch on. Selector switches on. Then look around. If the range is foul, signal it as being such by zooming. Also, the tow pilot may notify the fighter group of a foul range by making S turns. However, it's difficult for him to see below while flying level, so don't rely on him. Keep a sharp lookout yourself. Make safety your personal responsibility. When you're clear of the foul range and ready to resume, sight all the planes in your group to make sure you're in the clear. Then rock your wings. Shift your eyes to the target and start your approach. of the safety cone and never lose sight of the target at any time. But if you do, don't be a Dilbert and start looking for the target. Pull clear and discontinue the approach. It's far better to make a fresh run and chance mowing down your friends while you hunt all over the sky for the sleeve. In making gunnery approaches, never forget there's a man in the tow plane. 
Around the end of the sleeve is an imaginary out-of-bounds area called the safety cone. Stay outside of the cone area when firing and the man in the tow plane has nothing to worry about. But if you drop low and allow yourself to be pulled too flat so that you fire into the cone, you run the risk of hitting the tow plane, perhaps even killing the pilot. As soon as you've ceased firing, shift your eyes from the target to the tow plane immediately and keep it in view until you've passed underneath and are well clear. And after passing under the tow plane, locate the remainder of your flight and start back into position quickly. Immediately after each firing run, make sure you go over the checkoff list again. This time, reversing the procedure followed when preparing for the run. Put the guns on safe. Selector switches off. Master switch off. And always remember, whenever you turn your switches or charge the guns, be sure your plane is pointing in the clear. Another fundamental rule is that the gunnery group must never make runs out of order. Always stay in your proper position and keep the planes ahead of you in view. How come? What I got to keep him in view for? Why don't you look out for me? Well, well, Dilbert is now making up his own rules. This ought to be very interesting. Maybe we ought to stick around and see what happens. And you know, the remarkable thing about a Dilbert is that he's always sorry. He's always extremely sorry. And that makes the boys who still have to fly with him much happier. After all runs are completed and before you have left the range, double check to make sure your plane is ready to return to the field. Even though you might be certain that you've expended all ammunition, your guns must be put on safe. Normally the short safe or first position safe will be used. But should an occasion arise when the guns cannot be put on short safe, then the second position must be used. In the event that the stoppage is of a nature that neither safe can be used, be sure that the remainder of your checkoff list is completed before landing. Upon returning, stay in the cockpit until the ordnanceman arrives, making certain you tell him what's wrong with your equipment before he opens the gun cover plate. And be sure you park your plane in such a position that should your guns fire accidentally, no damage can result. I gotta practice up my whistling. But not Dilbert, no sir. No rules for that character. He's so anxious to call his girlfriend that not only does he neglect to park his plane in the proper position for safety, he also forgets to tell his ordnanceman that something's wrong with the armament. Hey, let me a nickel, will you? Boy, if I got a date, gotta make a phone call. Come on, come on, will you hurry? It's a tough break, but after all, it's not my fault. It's up to the ordinance men to take care of those things. That's right, Delbert. Always blame it on somebody else. But you are responsible for what's nothing less than cold-blooded murder. That man is just as dead as though he'd been killed by the enemy. But even with them, he'd at least have had a chance to fight back. While we're on the subject of safety, the pilot who is towing the target has certain responsibilities too. After the target is streamed, he must bear in mind that the sleeve trails below his line of flight. For this reason, the tow plane must never go below the prescribed altitude after the sleeve is taken off.
be sure that all turns, climbs, and glides are shallow and smooth, or the tow line may become fouled in the tail. When in the vicinity of a flying field, the tow pilot must maintain a constant lookout for planes taking off or landing. the gunner who is responsible for his bullets. The tow pilot is responsible for where his target falls when released, making allowances for wind drift. If the target cannot be released, a normal landing can easily be affected by landing long on the runway. Stuck. Let me see now. Am I supposed to land long? Nah, I guess in a case I guess I'm supposed to land short. Well, anyway, as soon as I get down, I'll ask somebody. Of course, the Dilbert type doesn't remember. And he also forgets to notify the control tower as he makes a short instead of a long landing. I did it. You did it all right. Just look behind you. By landing short when he should have landed long, Dilbert has shown how simple it is for the line and sleeve to decapitate someone. You have seen the right and wrong methods of ensuring safety and fixed guns.